Hi, I'm Dr. Lisa Thompson of DrLisaMThompson.com, and in today's video, I'm going to share with you two effective tips that will help you get more engagement and people reaching out to you when you're sharing content with your audience, whether it is a blog post, an email, or you're doing a Facebook Live or YouTube video. The first tip you want to keep in mind is keep the conversation at a third grade level. Okay, and why is that? A lot of times when we get excited about a particular topic or, you know, we get involved in business or we're learning about maybe something with health and wellness, if we're promoting health and wellness and we're learning a new concept, <coughs> excuse me, what tends to happen is we get involved in what's called techno battle, all right, and we start throwing out terms that we're familiar with, but our audience isn't. And so an, our audience will start feeling like they're tuning out and they're going to feel um, confused because they don't know what that term is. And so in the past, you've got to remember this too, that a confused mind will say no, they will tune out and they will not buy. Okay, so you have to keep things simple and keep it at a third grade level. Now, what do you do then if your content, if you're going to be teaching a, a particular concept to somebody that is valuable, that will definitely help them solve a problem, how do you get around that? And how do you explain that at a third grade level? Well, here is where you're going to use a technique that Russell Brunson teaches, which is called, it's kind of like bridge. It's the kind of like bridge. Okay. And what is this bridge? If you don't have the book, Expert Secrets, his book, Expert Secrets, I really recommend that you go pick it up. You can get it absolutely free. All you have to do to, is pay for shipping. So just go to expertsecrets.com and pick up a copy. It is well worth reading. And what he talks about is when you use the kind of like bridge, you're going to introduce the concept. So it might be a techno term, like techno babble, but now you're going to relate it to something your audience already knows. So you have to make sure that you understand what your audience understands. Okay. You have to know what they, you know, where are they hanging out? What language they're using? Okay. And who you're talking to. So in the book, Russell gives a really great example of how to use it's kind of like to explain what ketosis is. So a lot of people, when they do keto diet, there's a concept called ketosis that your body goes through that helps you um, rev up your metabolism, helps you increase your metabolism so that you can lose weight quickly, okay? And you're doing it safely. So here is how Russell uses the kind of like bridge to explain ketosis. So this is right from his book. He says, when you're in ketosis, it's kind of like the old video game Pac-Man. Remember that? You spend the whole game running away from the ghosts. But every once in a while, you get a power pellet. And suddenly you get tons of energy. And then you're actually chasing around the ghosts that you feel on. That is what it likes. That's what it's like to be in ketosis. Okay. So instead of sitting there and explaining, um, you know, the real scientific side behind ketosis, he put it in relatable terms. And a lot of people with who his audience is when he's talking about ketosis understands the Pac-Man video games. Okay. So now they understand that they get that. And now they're going to be more open to like, Hey, I might want to try his product that could help me get into ketosis. Okay. Does that make sense? So just make sure, number one, keep your content to a third grade level. All right. And I know it's hard for a lot of people, especially if you're, you're professionals, you've been to college, you've got advanced degrees and you've had to learn to write, you know, um, write scholarly. All right. And that was really hard for me, especially when I went for my doctorate. I had to write scholarly articles and I had to learn to switch that down and talk more at a third grade level. And I'll tell you, when I made that switch and I started using Russell's, it's kind of like bridge. 
I'm telling you, it really helped make my get more engagement on my Facebook lives. It helps me get more engagement on my emails. I get more opens on my emails, more clicks on my emails. More importantly, it leads to more sales. So there you have it. I hope you got value from this today. If you did, leave a comment and share. And if you're not on my newsletter, go to workwithdrlisathompson.com, put in your best email address, and I will start sending to your email box my latest tips, strategies, and mindset that will help you grow a full-time income while only working part-time. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you in the next video.